Hello and welcome everybody to today's video. Today we are going to be talking about what I call false personalities in a deliverance. So most of what I have discussed up until this point has been concepts, tools, and ideas that I have read about, that I have learned about from a number of different sources, including Art Montgomery, Bob Larson, Wynne Worley, Frank Hammond, and other deliverance generals who have gone before me. This is something that I did not learn from somebody else, but that I discovered on my own. So I have found this tool to be helpful in deliverance. I am proposing this to anybody out there. If you do deliverance, try this. If it works, keep it. If it doesn't, throw it away. Because in deliverance, we want to continue to innovate. We want to continue to grow, build off of what we've already learned, and help people get set free. So I am not submitting this to you as absolute canon, but this is something that I might qualify as experimental, and it has been effective as far as I have seen it. I came to this discovery of false personalities as I watched some deliverance ministers like Bob Larson would deal with people who had multiple personality disorder, and they would have these alter personalities come up and manifest like a demon. So I really struggled to digest that thought at the time. So I prayed about it and and the Holy Spirit gave me this idea that there are times when an individual gets caught up in a certain identity that is not really who they are. And that's part of their flesh. That's part of their old man that has been crucified with Christ, but there's some little piece of it that's just holding on and needs to be identified. Now, crucifying the flesh, growing in the Lord, that process of sanctification, that happens outside of deliverance, that happens as we read the scripture, as we pray in the spirit, as we grow closer to the Lord, our worldly identity passes away and our identity in Christ grows stronger and more fortified. So, this isn't always necessary, but this happens when people have this certain identity that they cling on to. And you'll recognize this when somebody strongly identifies in something. For example, uh, for some people that they, they, when they were in the world, they really had a strong attachment to marijuana and they identified in it. They took pride in it. They wore the marijuana socks and the hat and everything, and they were all about it. And they come out of that, they got saved, they got delivered, and they know it's wrong now, but just some part of them just always is being drawn back to that. Now, let me first of all say that that part is demonic. It is a demonic energy. There is nothing intrinsic in yourself that is pushing you back towards sin. That is demons that push you back towards sin. But the what the demon is holding on to in this case is not necessarily just the fact that the person was involved in the sin, but that they held an identity in it. If you watched our previous episode, we talked very briefly about how certain lies can happen in a trauma, and that lie can lead to a demonic stronghold and demonization. This is somewhat similar to that, but instead of trauma, this is something that the individual willingly identifies in. And as they identify in it, that demonic stronghold goes stronger. And you'll notice that they'll switch. They'll go to church and then they're all churchy, they're all Christian and uh, yeah, da, da, blah, blah, blah. it's all great. And then they go back and they're put in a situation that identity is triggered and they begin to act like that again. And then they go away and they're like, geez, what is wrong with me? Why am I acting like that? In some cases, this may just be demons. You cast them out and you'll deal with it. But I have found that oftentimes there is an identification going on that needs to be dealt with. So, how do you deal with these false personalities? This is what I believe the Holy Spirit showed me, and as I have applied this, it has been very effective. Now, I have not ever ran into what I would classify as proper MPD or DID, Dissociative Identity Disorder, and that would be where a person has a, a fractured personality because of a trauma and there are these different compartments that they have in their lives that they try to uh, compartmentalize the trauma so that they can survive. I do not know very much about that. I have read about it. I have studied it. I have never run into it in person. Some of you who are may watching have a very difficult time di accepting anything like that. And you'll say, well, it's just demons. Okay. I'm not going to argue with you because I don't know. All I am saying is that was the origin of this. But what the Holy Spirit showed me about this is completely different from MPD or DID, that there's no switching, there's no alter personality that comes up and manifests. This isn't like that at all. 
This isn't any kind of living, breathing entity in a person. All this is is an idea that needs to be identified and dealt with. So how do you identify and deal with it? If you have not watched our previous episode titled Deliverance 205, I would suggest you go back and watch that before you watch this video because it will deal with the same pattern which we're basically going to deal with with false personalities. What you're going to do is you're going to have the ministry recipient close your eyes and say, Holy Spirit, show me the false identity or personality that I took in X, Y, or Z, marijuana, sex, whatever it may be. And they'll just keep their eyes closed. And most of the time when I've applied this, what happens is the individual sees a picture in their mind's eye of most often something like them, some version of them that is completely wrong and what the enemy wanted them to turn out to be in that way. And they'll see that picture and you'll just have them say, okay, just keep that picture in your mind's eye. And now in the name of Jesus, I want you to say, I renounce you. You are a lie. That is not who I am. I break your hold over my life and I crucify you with Christ. You must go in Jesus' name. And and have them say this forcefully. Have them say that with, with authority. And that's it. That's all you have to do. Now, what you do at the end of that is the reason we have to deal with that false personality is because there are demons that are attached to that identity lie. Now you'll be able to go back and you'll be able to cast those spirits out that were related to that false identity. So something that you may want to do before you move on to expelling demons is have the individual close their eyes again and reinforce again the truth. Holy Spirit, what does the Father say about me? What do, who does the Father say that I am? And then they may see some picture or hear some word. Okay, and now may also be a good time for prophetic words or words of knowledge from the deliverance team if they come. Don't force them, but if they come, then this may be a good time for that. Now, after that, we want to move on and we want to go and cast the demons out that were related to that false personality. So just in closing, I would like to say that why you may suspect something like this is if you see the individual taking some kind of strong identity or hold or something, there's some demon that you're having trouble casting out that had a clear mold, shape, and effect on their life in some way. When you see that, that's when you may want to come in and ask the Holy Spirit about this. It's not there every time. Not every person have I ministered to have done this. Maybe one in every seven or eight deliverances, I will deal with something like this. But we have found it to be very effective. Um, it seems to really minister to people and it seems to help dislodge demons that are stuck in some kind of identity lie. So again, I'm not saying this is canon, but you can go ahead, take this, try it out and see if it works. And if it does, keep it. And if it doesn't, then forget about it. But I just want to arm you with whatever tools that I can for you to be able to cast out demons and set the captives free. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you liked it. If you do, please leave a like, subscribe, comment. And I hope that you continue watching our series on deliverance methodology. And in Jesus' name that I hope you have a blessed day.